Good day and welcome to your favorite sport program on TV Plus Sports. My name is Muda Shivshitu and it's going to be an exciting moment on the show today. We all know that um, tomorrow is the day that um, sport is going to be gathered in one city and that's Paris. Um, the Olympic is starting um, officially um, tomorrow with the opening ceremony. But we know the men's and um, women's um, football event is ongoing. Um, Nigeria will be playing later today, Brazil, around um, 8 p.m. Nigerian time for the first game in uh, Paris 2024. Um, interesting that um, a lot of people will be looking forward um, to that particular uh, match. And I'm not forgetting also that many things to look forward to. But today we'll be looking at a sport that has its own Olympics separately. The sport is a very, very big sport. It's a sport that um, you know the sport I'm talking about. They have been trending. One of the athletes of the sport or promoter of the sport um, did um, a, a Guinness Book of um, Guinness record and uh, world record in New York. Um, earlier this year, and I'm talking about um, Tunde Onokoya, who brought us to the global image when it comes to chess. So I'm talking about chess, and uh, <laughs> I think it's a sport that has their own um, Olympics. They're not going to be part of this Olympics. Um, but we know subsequently, we'll be talking about tomorrow's opening ceremony um, later on um, tomorrow. Well, I have um, one man that has done so well for himself. Everything around him is about chess. He's someone that I uh, can make reference to when it comes to chess in Nigeria. Not just in Nigeria, in Africa. He is the CEO of African Chess Media. So right now, if you Google African Chess Media, I believe before you finish typing media, African Chess, you would have brought out the website. The man has dedicated a good part of his life to chess and also photographing. You see how they blend. He blends photographing and chess. And as a media personality, he does everything for, for chess. I'm talking about Baba Tunde Ogunsiku, who is the CEO of African Chess and Media. It's good to have you on the show, Baba Tunde. Very good to be here again. Thank you very much, Mujashiro. Yes, um, I, I want Nigerians to know that um, I know chess reportage and all that broadcast about time. The man I'm talking to right now is um, someone that I also rely on when it comes to chess um, in, um, in Nigerian chess and in, also in Africa. And we're talking about um, how chess can be used as a tool for social um, development. Um, I also noticed that um, if you ask me, I've covered about many, many sports this particular year. I tell you from football to badminton, to squash and all that. But if you ask me, what sport is the sport of the year? I mean, I wish I, wish I have an award to give for now. But if you ask me from my own experience, what sport is the sport of the year? I'll tell you, chess is the sport of the year. And um, there's been so much about, about sport and uh, chess this year. So I'm asking um, Baba Tunde to tell us the everything that has to do with chess um, for for this particular year, chess has brought us global um, recognition from what Tunde Onokoya um, did in New York, and also the fact that we had um, a name Deborah Quick Pen doing so well for herself, and also not forgetting the Nigerian Chess Federation, and also himself, he has been in every event that I've just spoken about right now. Uh, so, what what, what, um, what can we say about chess in the year 2024? And has done so well to promote the game for Nigeria. Well, I can thank you very much, Mudashiro, for the time and thank you for having me here. Uh, I can tell you personally that chess has evolved in Nigeria uh, with this current administration of the Nigerian Chess Federation. Uh, we, we've had a lot of tournaments this year. We've had the Echo Bank uh, Junior Chess Championship having over a thousand kids uh, playing under one roof. Uh, that's that's a feat that you hardly find uh, in Africa, although we've had a number of countries pull it off, pull it off even more. And this is the first in Nigeria, and it's testament to what the Nigeria Chess Federation has been doing. Uh, we've had Nigerians doing well at the uh, Africa Individual Chess Championship. They were a quick pen, uh, 
finishing with some very good points at 11 years. Uh, the girl has really done a lot of things for herself with our style of play, with our prominence, with our good play. Uh, so, yeah, we've had that. We've also had a number of social developments in the country, having chess been taken to uh, the prisons, having chess been taken to the less privileged, uh, the displaced people, and a lot of, a lot of things uh, going on around chess, not just in the playing aspect, but also as a social development. Uh, chess in schools has also been growing. We've had a lot of schools tending to uh, request for chess instructors in their schools and a lot of things have happened around chess this year uh, it's been yes it's been a very very good year for chess and it can only get better yeah well, well said and, and i'm gonna say how do you think this should be um cemented putting a platter of um, gold in the world because um you know there are, there are certain times that the year is supposed to have a particular year and then when you look at the next year after that year you will not be seeing what really happened especially in football and um other sport that term um, that year will be a fantastic year by the time you say the next two years all those memories will be something in the way past. So what, what do you think the, the government, the Nigerian Chess Federation parents, because I think this is um, um, a stakeholder's effort now to ensure that chess continue to always um, give the best to everybody? Well, we need to have a lot more corporate sponsorship coming to the Nigerian Chess uh, and we need to find a way to always give back to the corporate bodies that would be investing in chess. Uh, recently, we had we had pick uh, uh, some good adverts uh, coming up. Sterling Bank coming up with an advert with Tunde Onokoya um, using chess amongst other uh, public uh, major corporate sectors like that. So. Yes, we, we need to work more with the corporate bodies, with the corporate sector. Uh, we need to train them. We need to help them understand what they, are, what they have been missing out on. And then with that, when they see what they can benefit from chess and the publicity that chess is building currently, we'll be able to definitely get this momentum pushed forward and grow the spots therewith. Okay, uh, well, well, well said, because I know obviously that that's part of um, the ways that should happen. And then we hope that um, parents, guardians, friends listening right now should know that if there's anything that you can do to keep your child busy, I mean, if that's the only rule you can play. Well, let's also look at, as part of um, the, I think earlier, yeah, this year, earlier last year, or late last year, I'm sure you're going to correct me uh, because I know you're part of um, the, the, the um, delegates that were in with the Secretary of the Lagos State um, Ministry on um, Education, where FIDE, like a lot of people don't know what FIDE is, the governing body that governs um, um, chess in the world. Yes. Yeah. So, so they came to see how chess can be part of the curriculum of the Lagos State government. And um, if that's implemented, or if chess, has, if chess is finally a part of a classroom subject in public schools in Lagos, what do you think that will, what impact do you think that will have on the game and on um, the, the, the students in major, um, in the public schools in Lagos? Well, I can tell you for a fact that chess helps to develop the thinking ability of everybody that plays it. Um, it helps to also build cognitive sense as well as the social uh, relativity of kids and adults and everyone that actually participates in the game of chess. Uh, when you also play it, when you understand what you're doing, you, you realize that it's actually also fun to play. 
so yes, um, chess in schools needs to be implemented. Chess in schools is one of the most important parts of chess that we need to push as much as possible uh, going forward. Uh, we've had a lot of private schools uh, coming, taking chess as part of their curriculum already. Now, having the government take chess as a curriculum would really, really ensure that chess is has moved to the next level and it's um, going to achieve what we can set for it to achieve. Yes. Okay. Uh, still on that, I, I, on some few days ago, uh, probably a few, few days ago, weeks, um, on the World Chess Day, I, I wrote an article about it. And um, in the first um, paragraph of that article, I wrote that um, just like football, that's the, the, the ball itself, that's very common in yeah. major household in Nigeria, the chess board is, is also getting to be the second sporting item or sporting accessory in major household in um, in Nigeria, that means that um, after football, the next sporting accessories or item you probably find um, in major household. And I'm using Lagos as an example that it should be chess, the chess board. Do, do, do you agree to that? Well, yes, uh, I do agree to that because the the evolution of chess that we've seen in the last a couple of years has been unprecedented and we've, we've seen chess grow so much and this is testament to what the Nigerian Chess Federation under the leadership of the IG Sonny Mohamed retired MNI uh, has been doing. Uh, they've ensured that they work time and time again tirelessly to ensure chess is supported chess is promoted chess is built on and this has actually been a very good way forward for chess in nigeria okay well said i i, I came across um i can't but mention his name so i think he's very passionate about the sport and administrator somebody you also know yourself at um the vice president of um the N N nigerian um, chess um, federation that's um, Prince, I like I always call him. Uh, his, um, his passion for the sport has shown that um, under the, um, the retired uh, DIG, is not mentioned. So what has been in the past, in the way past, that have not been getting so much attention as it is right now? Because I know that um, before they came on board, so there's been so much chess activities going on, but, but this, this dispensation seems to be something interesting to a non-chess person because um, in, the, in the past, it's kind of maybe perhaps get the attention of chess people, the past administration, but this one goes beyond we stakeholders that the, a non-chess person gets interested. What do you think they're doing? What's this administration doing extraordinarily? I also know that that makes them, um, makes it look so interesting that the non-chess person who is get, get, get interested in chess? Passion. Mm, passion. Now, this is the thing. They have a passion for chess and chess development. And because of that passion that they have for chess and chess development, they continually give back to chess and chess players and chess administrators and chess coaches and chess uh, instructors. Uh, yes, last year we had the world of body coming to teach uh, some of our instructors the best way to teach in schools and this uh, came with along with some titles uh, the student instructor the school instructor title uh, this could not have happened if the Nigeria Chess Federation under the leadership of DIG Sonny Mohammed and Prince as the vice, uh, it could not, it would not have happened without them. And they have ensured that the development, the evolution is something that they put as first and foremost in everything that they are doing. 
and they have done really well, I must say. Yeah, very well, very well, because um, it's get a lot, it got a lot of people interested in the sport and um, in chess. And uh, the kudos yeah. for me is not getting already made chess uh, fan, so support our athletes more interested. I think the kudos for me is for what they've done is ensuring not chess person getting interested in, in the sport. And also, as regards to social development, you will be in a very good position and a very good guest for this particular sport. Also, people need to know that um, it's also a, um, a, a means of livelihood. Talking about chess, I, I, I tell you that um, chess chess has made people have an extra source of income. Uh, uh, how do they do? Do, do the federation have um, a guide to who a chess instructor will be, or which chess um, teacher will be? Just just tell us ab about how it is as a, as a source of um, livelihood. So chess has various sections, the same way the corporate bodies have various sections. Uh, chess has the arbiters, chess has the media people, chess has the organizers, the players, the administrators. Chess has different sectors, different segments to it. So one way or the other, when you look at the different sectors, there are people who learn how to play in those segments in those sectors and when you know what you're doing you're you're charged for you are being paid for what you do as an arbiter you get paid uh to to arbitrate at tournaments as as a media person as a photographer as i am you get paid to take pictures at various tournaments as uh as an administrator a tournament director, an organizer, you get paid by sponsors to ensure that you give the best to the players that are coming up on board to play in their tournament. So uh, there are various sectors, and because of the various sectors, you are able to actually break down everybody into the different sectors and then get them to earn a living from the sector they have chosen to be an expert in and that's that's just the thing uh with more sponsors coming on board with more corporate bodies coming on board more chess players or people who want to get involved in chess can also then get involved in chess there's still a need for a lot of arbiters in the northern area in this well in various areas in the country uh and with a lot more events coming up, we can have a lot more uh, people in the different sectors, not just playing, even though playing does pay also. Okay, and um, also something, um, uh, the Olympiad, I think that's going to be the 45th um, edition of the Olympiad will take place. Mm -hmm. And um, we know that um, the Nigeria national team um, has been selected. I mean, I'm sure they went through trials and all that. Uh, but we know the, the wild, wild card was given um, to Deborah Quick Pain. We have um, Boyo, um, Bumu, um, Balogun, Uluaf, yeah, who is um, a FIDE yeah. master. And we have um, mm -hmm. Akisha Yabiola and, and Kalistos and some other names. Um, yeah. And we also have. Uh, I think two or four ladies, I think five ladies in the mix. Tell us what we should be uh, expecting from these lads. I mean, what, what, what? expect dynamism. Expect dynamism. Uh, this, it's a young team and they, they are going to show the world that they are ready to take on the world. Uh, over the, over the years, we've had a number of players participate at the Olympiad for various reasons at various times. But this bunch have a, a unique uh, goal to make a statement at the Olympiad, uh, both the male section and the female section. 
So, yes, expect a lot of dynamism in play. And you will see them in action at the 45th Olympiad. Okay. A name that I, should, I don't know, I, I don't have a yardstick to think he should be there, but maybe um, for the very fact that I know him and he has done so well for himself is Isaac Okeke. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, do, do you have any reasons? Did he fall out during the qualifiers or is there any reason why um, he's not there? I mean, Isaac's son, I, I, well, I know. Well, the youngest international master in West Africa, Isaac Okeke, uh, is taking a break from chess, uh, okay. chess playing, and he's, he's written a book uh, and is doing a number of other things inclusive of school. So, yeah, he decided to step away from chess for a bit, but definitely he's going to come back. Okay. So you, so you, you agree with me that if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's not because of um, his schedule, it would have been in the list? Well, he's a talented boy and is one person that will always have uh, something to give when it comes to playing the game of chess. Mm -hmm. So yes, it, the possibility is always there. Okay. Uh, apart from Deborah um, Cookburn, the, the ladies, um, I know they're all good, but if there's going to be um, who we should think we should um, be looking forward to, I mean... Apart from Deborah Quickpen, who we know how she is, and uh, other ladies um, are also so talented, according to the list and her profile. So, which are persons we should be looking forward to among the ladies? Well, we really need to look out for Ofa Wino to Uh She won the qualifiers by a mile, and it's it's really really interesting what how she has evolved in the game as she has grown in the game uh, she's been playing the game of chess for a while now and this time as i said earlier they are out to make a statement um the last olympiad there were some issues but this time around all stones are being <laughs> ensured that they looked into to, to give them the very best um, an international grandmaster has been appointed as the coach of the female team, okay. amongst other things. Uh, so, yeah, just expect a lot of a lot of stuff from okay. the players. Okay, in front of our name, Ufu, we know I have um, WIM elect women in why, why elect? What's okay? So she she has won the West Africa Chess Championship uh, for a while. And winning the West Africa Chess Championship earned her the right to become a woman international master a while back. However, she needed to meet the rating criteria of 2000, FIDE rating of 2000. Uh, without meeting that FIDE rating, she wouldn't be able to get the title. So now it seems she has gotten the FIDE rating. It's now for it to be ratified and then Hopefully by next month we should have our second woman international master. Tell us about the first because um, there's so I think I think he's in all sport. Like before, before you tell me, I think he's in all sport, and I think um, yeah, that there's so much beam lights um, on the male athletes than the female athletes, and mm -hmm. I think um, apart from the Bua, that um, the chess community is making sure that she's the face, so to say, since she's the national mm -hmm. champion. Um, of why, why why is it so? If you have an answer to everybody that um, the it does have to do with the society that um, and I don't want it to be I, I, because I believe chess is a distinguished game and I don't want it to be following the same paths with others that you know the male athletes before the female athletes. But why is it so for chess that um, you tend to know Bomo? Um, or and the other male Isaac KK. If I don't mention Deborah, it would be very very hard for me to know others. Not because I don't know so much about them, but why is it so for so for um, chess that um, the male athletes are? I mean, apart from athletics, anyway, that the male athletes are well known. <laughs> well, um, well, the thing is, uh, the first uh, woman international master was Omola Bakekoka. 
uh, she's no longer in the country at the moment. And uh, she was back-to-back -back women's national champion at, at some point in time. And she also won the West Africa Chess Championship at the time, which was what got her the title of Woman International Master. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> well, as regards uh, chess uh, being... Uh, one of those sports that has uh, is male dominated. It's it's not because of anything, but because of well, I would say it's because of the tenacity that the male players tend to have. If a lady has that same tenacity, then definitely she would also be one of the top players in the country or globally because we've had a lot of women doing so well against their male counterparts in global events and we've had a number of female players in the country also defeating a number of a lot of the male yeah. players in the country yeah. so yes we've We've had a lot of that, and we will continue to have a lot of that. We, the ladies just need to build their, tenac their tenacity, uh, the na that nature of being ten tenacious. Uh, once that can be done, then definitely we'll have a lot of female players coming up on board. Okay, good one. I'm enjoying myself. I'm sure a lot of our viewers across the globe are really enjoying themselves on, um, on how you've um, been able to give us um, um, uh, sincere answers and response to what you said. But let's now talk a bit about um, the person we are talking about. Uh, uh, my own job brought me, being a journalist, a reporter, brought me close to chess. I mean, that's going to be, and um, I decided to have a very keen interest in the sport. But how about you, Baba Tunde Ogunshiko? How did you come across chess? Okay, so I learned chess as a kid. Uh, I think I was seven at the time. I saw my brothers and their friends playing chess, Scrabble, Monopoly, board games, basically. I play all, but then chess for me is more of a calling uh, because at some point in time in my life, it dawned on me that, okay, this is what I was going to be focusing on after my university years. And yeah, I have focused on it. Over time, I've become, uh, I was the acting uh, state coach for Niger States because I schooled in, in Mina, Foot Mina. And at the same time, I, well, I've, I've written articles, I've guided young chess players. I, uh, well, I still talk to a lot of, a lot of the young chess players. I've played, I, I've come close to winning a number of tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, I think, I believe that chess is my way of life. Mm. And chess is a way of life for a lot of people and can be a way of life for even more people. So that's the thing. Yeah, I'm sure you're just trying to, just um, because of time, to just tell us little. I know you have um, so much high profile. Let, 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 what one comes first? Um, Baba Tunde, photograph chess. Which one comes first in your way? Because which one comes first? Or is it chess that better about the need for? Was it? <laughs> you are putting me on the spot. Yeah, no, but it's fine. I mean, you, you, I think I think that viewer should just try as much as possible to just Google African chess media. I'm telling you, um, that that website is is um, you know. Let, let me let me let me confess. Let me confess that sometimes okay, that so, after uh, after uh, hold on hold on, but what today? Mm -hmm. Okay. After sometimes writing my stories, you know, and I'm sure of them, but for confirmation's sake, before I let it out, I I'll come to your website, African Chess Media, to actually check, ah, if Baba Kitune can say this, then I can say this. It's a big website, <laughs> and uh, I need to let you know that. So which one came first, photograph or, ch or chess? Oh, chess, chess definitely came first. Um, it was while I was playing, I realized that chess was not being talked about enough. Mm. And we didn't have a, 
Well, so I decided to go into the journalism aspect of chess, to talk about chess, to write about chess, to make more people know about chess. And while doing that, I realized that writing articles, I need pictures. And the pictures I used, I was getting at the time were not good enough. So I decided, okay, why don't I just take up photography and start taking my own pictures? Mm -hmm. And that was just how it started. As well as someone uh, very important to me, mentor, a, an elderly friend, uh, he said to me back then that a, thousand, a picture speaks more than a thousand words. Mm. And that stuck with me till date. So that ensured that I went into taking pictures. I started taking pictures with my phone uh, back then. As in, yeah, you'd see a lot of noise in those pictures. <laughs> but I didn't care. I just wanted to take pictures uh, that I can use. And it's it has been quite the journey. Honestly, it has been quite the journey. And I am grateful for the opportunity to lead this life hmm. yeah i mean I, I i i can imagine that for for someone that has is very part of your life i've been on the um, chess and that's why i believe if there's any sport that should be um, used to set an example for 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 social development it goes beyond um it goes beyond just it being um, a, a sport. Yeah, be before I, I let you go, two more questions. I mean, the questions are for people out there and um, you, you want to say how things can really change your life and um, especially sport because a lot of people think sport is just for creation, recreation, not, not, not chess, I tell you, not chess. So now, tell people out there, I mean, you, you have your story, tell them, encourage guardians, friends, you know, that they should be part of... Um, of chess the chess movement yeah well it, the truth is when i started playing chess uh a number of people felt i was wasting my time hmm. but i i knew what i was doing i knew where i was going and i i, I was focused on going all the way with chess and the honest truth is it has changed my life. It has changed the lives of a lot of Nigerian chess players. And when you play chess, it doesn't just help you become a better thinker. Uh, it builds tenacity mm. within you. It builds uh, some aspects to your life that you didn't know was there. And at the end of the day, you'd realize that, oh, wow, I have accumulated all these life-changing tools uh and yeah before you know what is happening you are topping your class because chess is not just for you to play hmm. it's also for you to use the lessons learned in your daily life hmm. as well as at your place of work at different aspects of your life, within different aspects of your life. So, yes. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of, uh, yeah, thank you very much. A lot of our viewers are more encouraged. Uh, but I, I, I would, the last question before I let you go, a thought came to my mind. And um, before we go for this quick break, um, Baba Tunde Ogunshiku, um, now with this level, the vice president, Prince Adewola Deika, and also um, the president as gotten chess to this level but there's still so much room for development and improvement to ensure that um, we, we we are one of we are one of the best in africa no doubt about it, especially west africa what, what do you think needs to also be done i mean one or two things you know we've added one or two is getting is giving us two we're adding two and two is giving us four so what, what should we do so that we can add something together to give us an hundred what, what do you think also that needs to be done well, I do sincerely believe we need to get more corporate sponsors, more corporate bodies into the fold. Uh, we we have a lot of chess players working in various uh, top-notch organizations. We need to bring as many top corporate bodies into chess. And kudos to Mr. Uh, 
Femi, who has been, who ensured that the match between Tunde Onokoy and Deborah Quickpen uh, came to life. Uh, it's, it's a massive one. And if the people that we met on those on that day can come into chess and help aid the financing of chess we would have a lot more chess players be having the opportunity to travel out of the country and represent nigeria at various tournaments we would have a lot more administrators going for trainings that will make them better we would have a lot of arbiters going for other events like that and working not just in Nigeria, but con continentally and globally. Uh, we, we need to actually ensure that every sector is being, is being attended to and the corporate coming in is just what we need to move to the next level. Yes, um, thank you very much. Um, um, finally, I can let you go now. I'm sure a lot of people um, know what Chess has done. And you, but you mentioned something, and that's to do with um, the Deborah Quick Pen and um, um, Tunde Onokoya exhibition to promote um, um, Deborah Quick Pen, not just Deborah Quick Pen, Slum in Africa, also a promotion, mm -hmm. you know, for every other person that stakeholders. We also want to say, um, also, there's a man, um, Mr. Yemi Edu. Who, and also, you mentioned his, the other person's name? No, Mr. Yemi Adun is who I was mentioning. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, the, yeah. the man with the microphone, I, I, I don't want to forget his oh, name. Oh, Mr. Kunle Kasumo, definitely. Yeah. He's the brains behind the old thing. Okay. So, these men have done so well. And also, for those listening, that we just needs much, much um, corporate sponsorship and everything to make sure that, yes, is one of the best sports um, in Nigeria. So thank you very much, um, um, Babatunde Ogunshiko. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Yes. That's um, Babatunde Ogunshiko, who is the CEO of Afri Africa Chess Media. Um, a, a, a mention on the, um, the collaboration between Tunde Onokoya and um, Deborah Quickbeam was brought together by um, De Daniel Ford um, International. CEO Yemi Edu, um, um, also not forgetting the Nigerian Chess and Federation, talking about um, this federation has done so well, they make you have interest in the game of sport. And I said my kudos to them is because there are more people that are non-chess lovers that get themselves involved in chess. So when we go on the next quick break, when we come back, we'll be talking something close to the Olympics.